Welcome to Golf Course Records. I'm Marshall Blake. Now, last night, this pond was full. And we have used about 10 inches of water out of this pond already. I watered this course for 14 hours straight, and I'm still watering it. I plan on watering up until 10 o'clock today. So... That just kind of gives you an idea how dry it is here on this golf course. I mean, like I said in my earlier video today, the grass is just dead. Uh, I'm doing everything I can to keep tees, fairways, and greens watered. And uh, it's getting to be a real, real challenge. It's, this is dead. <laughs> now, uh problem is this box over here what keeps happening is when you water overnight the uh, the box loses its time in other words the clock's wrong which sets the whole system off and that not everything waters now the other half of the course is watering and it's watering good of course, the dead rough here, like I said, there's nothing I can do about that. So that's why I'm watering in the mornings up until 10 o'clock this side of the course. Now, this starts out running fine. And then uh, you'll get a system error test. A lot of times, or the clock will change time in the middle of the night and screw everything up. So that's what's going on with this box. It's being a real pain in the butt. I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it. Uh, I actually could use some help here. If you do know what's wrong with it and you uh, work around a golf course, you know, you could leave a comment. I would really appreciate that. Uh, as you know, as a golf course superintendent, uh, you have a lot to deal with on a golf course. And I really do because I am the only employee at the golf course. Uh, full time I do have some volunteers that sometimes help out which I do appreciate but I really got my hands full and and I've asked six different superintendents already what's wrong with this box and none of them can tell me what's wrong with it so if you got the answer please drop me a comment I'd really appreciate it thank you